Oh god. Oh god, what's gonna come out? What's gonna come out around the corner? Okay, alright, that's a little bit creepy. <sighs> Not anymore. Yeah, let's do a break dance. Mmm. 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 Shake those arms. Shake those arms. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. So, as you saw from that intro, we're covering Stray Souls today. And I'm here to tell you that this game is probably the worst horror game, if not the worst game this year. I mean, it has some pretty strong contenders to compete with. It's got Gollum and it also has the King Kong game. Uh, but this is pretty darn bad. It had some potential, but there's just too many facets of the game that were not done poorly. And I'm gonna tell you why. So let's start off with animations and lighting. As you can tell here, like, what is going on in that mirror? What is happening with this dude's hair? The lighting is completely off in this game. I don't know what's going on. Um, and a lot of times you're just kind of wondering what happened with these animations, right? Like, look at grandma moving again. And we've seen her on the stairs as well. Like, why is this movement so weird and jittery? It's like she's breakdancing. I don't know what's going on. You know, even the facial expressions of the protagonists, there's just something off to them. Like, here's the opening sequence here. This is a cutscene where somebody is shooting somebody else. Just watch her body after she gets shot. Like, that, that falling over does not seem normal. Secondly, let's talk about puzzle design. Some of the puzzles were incredibly abstract. You didn't really know what was going on. You know, you had to maybe find some pictures around the, the house that corresponded to some colors and then that matched up with the piano keys. Other puzzle designs, you'd have to read essay long um, lore in order to figure out exactly what was going on with them. And to top all that off, there were even puzzle designs where if you found the puzzle maybe just a little bit too early, you couldn't do it. Like, look at here. I'm trying to shoot this lock, right? And it's not letting me shoot it. Now let's fast forward to like a couple minutes later where my partner is like, nice find. Maybe we can get power back to that shed. Why don't you shoot the padlock? That's what I was trying to do just three minutes ago, but the game was like, nah, won't let you do it. Then we can talk about the terrible combat. Honestly, when you're watching me shoot here, it's like it's like I'm blindfolded and I have no idea what I'm doing. It's like I'm playing my first ever video game. The reticle sway here is ridiculous. It's like you're perma drunk in the game. You just cannot hold that reticle straight no matter what. To top that off, you basically have only one moveset this entire game. You have a gun. A simple pistol that you got from your partner and with that pistol you're just shooting random shots into the same three four five enemies which also have ridiculous animations have weird movesets and completely miss you like this dude was just spitting all over me and I wasn't getting hit at all you know right now we're looking at pretty much the first major boss of the game quote-unquote boss I'm gonna say it like that and it's the same thing. You're just shooting, shooting, shooting. And look, he's getting bugged. He's walking into trees. You know, just a little bit in the future, right here, he's gonna be swinging at nothing. Like, I'm 10 feet away from him. He's swinging and then he gets stuck behind a tree. He's swinging again. He gets stuck behind a tree. The combat is just not good. And that also coincides with point four. Lots of bugs. You know, we can see it in the combat. It's pretty um, buggy, but even, you know, even in some of the fights, like for example here, I had to kill a bunch of enemies. A few of them were spawned behind a building. You just saw this fat dude who was kind of stuck in a building. That is not an uncommon occurrence in Stray Souls. You know, you might have enemies that are trying to come at you, but they're like walking all over the wrong things. They're getting stuck. Now with the storyline, check out this first clip. This is impossible. Daniel, I... I know it's a lot, but... I'm your sister. No. Oh my god! He was just trying to date her the night before. I don't know what's going on. The storyline's all over the place. There's some kind of weird cult. 
you know weird things are going on but why are there zombies why is this whole world infested with all sorts of creatures you know i did read a decent amount of the lore but some of the lore was just like literally essays long you know paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs of lore you can't throw that much lore at people maybe i missed it i don't know what's going on here i don't know why this whole world's infested with zombies i kind of understood the gist of what was going on in this game but other than that this has my vote for worst game worst horror game of 2023 i'm here to share this review with you because i had a fun reviewing this game but i would not recommend this game at any price that it's currently at you know maybe if you wanted to pick it up for five bucks just to have kind of a, a laugh or two definitely i think that's worth it but it just has too many bugs inconsistencies problem with its combat awful animations and lighting and so many other wrong things going for it so the only thing i'm going to ask from you guys if you enjoyed this review please hit the like button subscribe to the channel the support really is appreciated and i will catch you guys next time see ya